hello friends uh, and welcome back uh, in this class we are going to discuss about jquery effect uh, we are just taking one more class because uh, in our last uh, two classes uh, we have discussed about effect uh, we have worked only on button so in this class uh, the purpose of uh, taking this class is that we can work on div we can work on image not only on uh, button so this is the previous class coding you need to just remove all this from body area and from script tag also and style tag control s to save at first we are going to create a three div inside the body tag div start div close and br close so i'm just writing here i click click to hide the first one and creating a class or id here id is equal to you can say the i double v1 so you can just duplicate this two more time this one should be div2 and this should be div3 click to show click to hide and show control s just uh, go to run menu and launch in chrome so this is the previous class that we have worked click to hide click to show click to hide and show so just we are going to use some css here now uh, inside the style tag for id we are using hash di double v1 select open curly braces the width of this div should be just something like 100 and 105 pixel i think it's enough and the height should be something like uh, 45 pixel the background color should be just uh, green color the text color should be white white pretty white and uh, line height you can give uh, to take the content to in center vertically the same 45 pixel as a height and text align should be center center and you can save this control s to save come back here and refresh so this is the first div you need to just uh, copy or duplicate this by pressing control d this one should be div 2 and this can be div 3 for div3 we are just going to use something like 160 pixel the width control s to save and refresh so we have three div here just zoom out click to hide click to show click to hide and show so in the, inside the body tag uh, i'm just going to use insert an image image tag source equal sign double quotation backslash close so let's check the folder for image or images so we have an image here this called the name is photo and the type is uh, you can see jpg so you can insert that image here uh, photo dot jpg is the type you can save and go for preview so you can see the image is here but the size is just very big you can see and just go inside uh, css here you can just write img it is a default selector you can define a width for this something like 200 pixel hide also something like 200 pixel and control s a refresh so you can see this the image if you just increase the width something like uh, 400 and this should be 250 control s and refresh so this the image and uh, you can just apply click to hide by just clicking on this button you can hide this image by clicking on this button you can show you can just uh, hide and show so very simple just come uh, here inside your script tag insert the basic syntax uh, just dollar sign round bracket dot again round bracket and semicolon here you need to just write document and ready and just run the function open just a round bracket and curly braces 
and again insert a dollar sign again a round bracket dot again a round bracket and semicolon here inside the single quotation you are just going to select uh, id with a hair sign diw1 and just when someone click on this click on this so just uh, this function should be run function f u n c open a round bracket and just calibrate this and you can say just uh, uh, the image you can just select here uh, insert a dollar sign again round bracket fully stop or you can say dot again semicolon inside the single quotation you are just selecting img directly and you can say this should be height Control s to save now come here and refresh click on this it is just hiding refresh and just click on this again refresh so the same uh, for example from here you can say effect first effect first effect and you can just copy this control c after this you can paste here and just copy this two line control c you can paste here this time div2 we are going to select div2 and this should be show not height control s and refresh click to height click to show click to height click to show you can see and uh, you can just copy one more time this Control c by pressing Control c and v this should be second second effect this should be third effect and the div3 should be select here and on clicking you are just uh, selecting the effect on toggle Control s toggle means working for both show and height you can see show show height show height you can see working for both this button is just hiding and this just uh, showing this button is just can hide and show both so the same way as uh, we used uh, in our last classes uh, effect like slide up uh, slide in fade out fade in you can just use them here for example on the first one i am just going to use here fade out and giving timing also in three second control s and refresh so just uh, it's loading we have the image here click to fade out you can see in three seconds it's just fade out so the same way you can just uh, use here fade in or slide in just uh, give a timing i'm just giving for this also three second control s and refresh just uh, it's loading fade out in three second and fade in in three second so you can use uh, like this slide out slide in the same as we have used in our last class or so fade toggle slide toggle you can use so it was about uh, effect that we can use on div on images on button so in next class uh, we will come back and we will just uh, discuss about a new topic so again i'm just saying till next class watch the video and please do practice do a lot of practice have a nice time and see you